hello friends in this video i will explain how you can uh, configure the charles proxy so that uh, you will be able to see the traffic or the details of the urls actually so here you can see that uh, charles uh, this particular software is downloaded and it's working but these lock icons are being displayed and uh, it is also showing this unknown unknown instead of uh, showing actual urls so the main reason why this is happening is because you haven't install the certificate and also ssl uh, proxying is not enabled so there are two settings you have to make and then restart the charles then you will be able to see the traffic uh, and its details so first uh, thing that you need to need to do is go to help and then click on ssl proxying then click on install charles root certificate I have already installed that uh, certificate that's why it is not showing that window but uh, in case no oh, it's here so this is the certificate uh, that will be installed here and uh, it will be shown in red color because it is not trusted so you have to double click on that and then trust that certificate so just go here and then select always trust so that is first setting that you have to do next setting that you have to do is go to proxy and then cl click on ssl proxying settings and here you have to enable ssl proxying and then also check this checkbox and add this thing here star star so what it means is that uh, like uh, enable the proxying for all the uh, websites star means all websites and all ports just click ok and then restart the charles proxy actually it's not required to restart you can see this uh, lightning icon is being displayed but in case it is not working you, you, you need to restart the charles and then it will display all the uh, urls and uh, you see here it is showing unknown unknown so you need to restart the charles for that so let us restart the charles And now if you uh, visit any website, all details will be displayed there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just refresh this website and then let us see if it captures the traffic. So let us do that now. Refresh this one. And here you can see that compare the market it is being shown here and if you expand that it is also showing the folders it is not showing unknown basically here and you can just double click on that uh, particular uh, request and uh, you can see the details here in the contents it will uh, display on the top the request headers cookies or uh, data and down here it is showing the response details one thing I like about Charles uh, as compared to Fiddler is that in Charles you get these folders or the directories or actually the requests are grouped per domain. So here you can see that requests are being grouped here. So it's very easier to see like uh, what all requests were sent for that domain. Thanks for watching this video.